stretched, but it uh, shows the diversity of processes that must have been going on uh, within uh, Ceres. Uh, and on the right, we have an elevation uh, topography of a uh, section of the surface, and it's much more muted uh, than Vesta was, uh, as if uh, that uh, we have a lot of erosion on the surface, much like uh, Mars. Um, then uh, we uh, now are looking uh, at, uh, at a series from uh, about uh, 4,000 uh, kilometers. We are now uh, moving down to get higher uh, resolution. Next graphic, please. Uh, this shows uh, two of the more famous landmarks. Uh, this, the first on the uh, left-hand side is the uh, Okatar uh, crater with bright spots. We believe these are uh, salt left by evaporating water uh, as occurs in the Earth's deserts. This evaporation also makes a haze layer that we can occasionally see in the crater. Um, we've uh, got other uh, features like, that look like pingos uh, on the left, on the right-hand side uh, is this small mountain about three uh, miles high. Uh, it's got some dirt on it, but uh, it looks like it has ice uh, coming down the uh, sides. We were totally surprised by the Pluto observations that uh, showed uh, mountains on Pluto that were very much like this mountain that I show you here. Um, we have two more orbital phases for Ceres. Uh, we'll go down to uh, as low as 200 miles above the surface, get gravity field measurements and the elemental composition. And then we will park the spacecraft in a stable orbit uh, to protect it from uh, crashing into the surface. Uh, Ceres is an object with potential biological interest. It's got water and heat uh, from the sun and the interior. The astrobiological community is very interested in Ceres. We've shown that Ceres is relatively easy to reach uh, with a significant payload uh, if you use ion propulsion. Uh, Ceres has a much lower gravitational field than Mars, and the thrust needed to land is much less, so landing is very feasible. Rover missions, landers such as the upcoming InSight mission to Mars are all possible and highly desirable. We believe that Dawn, with its small exploratory payload, has only scratched the surface, so to speak, of what could be done. I'd like to close with a brief but heartfelt thank you for you and your support of a strong space program. This support has brought a treasury of knowledge and a legacy for future generations. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Russell. Uh, Dr. Papalardo.